The New York Knicks fall to the Milwaukee Bucks 110 to 105 in the first in season tournament game of the season with the New York Knicks. Man, oh man. They had this game, then they didn't have this game, then they had this game. Um, look, it's going to be hard to win basketball games in this league when you have players like Julius Randle put together the type of performance that he did. Look, you're not going to win games in this league when your second best player and the second highest paid player on this team shoots five of 20 from the floor. It is time to move on from Julius Randle. If the New York Knicks want to be serious, if the New York Knicks want to compete at the highest level in this league, it is time to move on from Julius Randle. He doesn't make anybody better. He's not even good. And a factual statement is this. He has had the worst six-game start to an NBA season in NBA history. And you might say, Marshall, there's no way that's true. There's no way that is true. It is absolutely true. So if we can go to that real quick, that photo. Julius Randle has legit had the worst start to an NBA season in NBA history. He has been the worst player to start a game season in NBA history. Look at this stat from yesterday. Thing is, he shot worse today than he had prior to the season, prior to today. Julius Randle is the first player in NBA history to average more than 15 field goal attempts per game over the first five games of the season. This now goes into the first six games of the season and shoot below 30% from the field below 30% from three-point territory, and below 65% from the free throw line. Julius Randle is the first player ever in the first six games to do that. And look what he did tonight. Five of 20 from the field. Five of 20 from the field. One of nine from downtown. I, I know if you box score watch, you're like, oh, 16, 12, and five. That's a really good... It's a really good game for Julius Randle. Five of 20. He is the only player in NBA history to start a season in the first six games, shooting less than 30% from the field, 30% from the floor, and less than 30% from downtown. Let's go to his season numbers real quick, Smitty, if we can, just to get a broad view of what Randle really has not done so far this season. Julius Randle so far this year is averaging 13.2 points per game, 10.2 rebounds, 5.2 assists, and he's shooting 27.6% from the season. It's in there at the bottom. Julius Randle is shooting 27.6% on the season. How is this possible? This is through six games. I know it says five games at the top. This is through six games. Julius Randle has had the worst start to an NBA season in season history. Did someone tell him it's a regular season? It's not the playoffs anymore. It's not the playoffs anymore. It's just time. It's just time. The Knicks will never win a championship as long as Jalen Brunson is their best player. I am the president of the Jalen Brunson fan club. When he signed in the summer of 2022, and you all told me he was overpaid and it was a dumb move and he didn't do anything to deserve it, I told you, relax. He's underpaid. He's going to prove all of you wrong. I am the president of the Jalen Brunson fan club. The Knicks will never, ever, ever be a serious team in the Eastern Conference as long as he is on this basketball team and as long as you don't have a player better than Jalen Brunson. The man is shooting 27% from the field this season. This isn't just a bad stretch. I just think this is who he is. Is it time? Should the Knicks trade Julius Randle? What do you think? I'm at this point. It, it, it's just time. In this league, if you're a power forward and you can't score and you can't defend, you're just you're worthless. And right now, Julius Randle is worthless. He is hurting this team more than he is helping this team. And it's by a wide margin. Is it time to trade him? You might say, Marshall, who are we trading him for? I don't care. It's, a, it's, it's addition by subtraction. 
Just get him off my basketball team. It'll make all of our lives better. Because this guy right here, he can't keep doing it himself. He got you to the second round of the playoffs. But how many more times are you going to look to him and say, hey, 45 is not good enough. Can you get us 50? Hey, I, I know you had 45 points on 30 shots and you shot over 56%. But I think we're going to need 50 because Julius Randle shot 3 of 50 from the field. He's shooting 11% from downtown. He's shooting 20% from the field. We're going to need a little bit more, Jalen Brunson. It's unfair to him. You're wasting prime years of his career by having him play alongside Jalen Brunson. What he did tonight was spectacular. It's an all-time performance by a New York Knicks player. But it goes to waste because number 30 has legitimately been the worst player in the NBA to start the season. And that is not an exaggeration. That's straight facts, homie. Make sure you are subscribed to the channel. We're going to continue to put out videos every day on the latest Knicks news and Knicks rumors. We're going to break down this game a little bit more coming up in a second. But I got to tell you about our proud sponsor of today's video, Prize Picks. Go to prizepicks.com slash CLNS. Use the promo code CLNS and get started with the number one daily fantasy sports app in the game. It's daily fantasy sports made easy. All you do is create a lineup of two to six players, and you just choose more or less on their projected stat line. The more players you have on your lineup, the more your payout in multiplier is going to be. These are going to be my picks for this Sunday's games in the National Football League. I'm going to go with more rushing attempts for Saquon Barkley. He's averaging 30, almost 30 rushing attempts in the last three games, and I think it's going to be a shootout between the Chiefs and the Miami Dolphins. So give me the more on the passing yards for Patrick Mahomes. What I love about it is you can mix NFL picks and you can mix NBA picks to go on the same lineup. It's Daily Fantasy, the best way possible. Prizepicks.com slash CLNS. Remember to use the promo code CLNS. Support the show, support the sponsor. All righty, let's just look at the raw numbers of this game. 18 assists on 38 made shots. 20 unassisted buckets. It's tough to win in the league. It's really tough when you don't share the wealth. You shot 39% from the field. You shot 25% from three, and you had 18 assists. You got to be better. You played the worst defense in the NBA. Coming into today's game, the Milwaukee Bucks had the 29th ranked defense in the NBA, and they held you to 39.6%. You made Brooke Lopez look like the second coming of Dikembe Mutombo. I think he had eight blocks tonight. It was absolutely ridiculous. Not only did you not show up on the offensive end, you didn't show up on the defensive end. How many warm-up threes did the Bucs have? How many times did we have to say, that's an open three? That's a wide open three. Jay Crowder, Bochamp, Dame Lillard, Middleton, Lopez, Giannis. Everything was easy. Everything was open. It was warm-up jumper after warm-up jumper. They had 24 assists on 35 made buckets. That's only 11 unassisted buckets. The Knicks had 20 unassisted buckets, and they allowed the Bucks to shoot 51% from three. Way too many open looks. Way too many people not running off people on the three-point line. Thing is, like, Giannis didn't even play good. At least the Knicks kind of held him in check. He made six shots. Three of them were three-pointers. Wide open. You allowed him, you held him to three of seven from two, and you lost. You can't lose games where you shut down other teams' best players. Dame finished with 30, but that was a quiet 30. I mean, he had 22 before the final minute, and then he had eight points in the final minutes because of free throws and fouls and a three pointer. <gasps> it's going to be tough to win in this league if you can't create offense. 105 doesn't get it done in the NBA in the regular season. It doesn't. You have the worst offense in the league right now. Last in offensive rating, you're last in field goal percentage, and if it wasn't for one really good three-point shooting night against the Hawks and shooting white hot from frickin' downtown against the Celtics, you would have the worst three-point shooting offense in this team, in the league. It, it, it's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. Are we concerned? You're two and four through six games. You're two and four through six games. What is your concern level with the Knicks so far? 
Scale it from 1 to 10. I'd say mine's at about a three and a half. Like I'm, I'm not, not concerned, but I, I am concerned. It's just not that strong. I would say three and a half. I'm not ready to jump off the bridge, uh, off the boat, and, and 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 say this team's done. Man, oh man, through six games, they haven't looked that good. Make sure you are subscribed to the channel. We're going to continue to keep you guys up to date on everything New York Knicks. Sub, please, for Knicks stubs, because we need some Knicks stubs. Hit that subscribe button. Help us get to 29,000 subs on the channel.